All right, now we're going to be looking at Inkscape and GIMP together, working together. So there's two different worlds here, and uh, just whipping out my visual aid here. So remember, there's a world that is uh, what we know as pixels. So if I say um, something like pixels, and there's 10 of them, and there's one pixel per 10, that means really if I'm in a pen or a pencil tool, I have to make these little squares. These things. Pixels. And how many I have next to each other dictate how detailed the thing is. And remember how Inkscape works. Inkscape works like this. I have these points. And when they're connected together, I can now fill these objects with something like a pattern, or I can fill them with a solid. But really what it comes down to are these lines that are important, these vector lines. And we need to know how to make these vector lines, not by using this pen tool, because if you did that, well, you can do that. And it's not that hard, actually, but it's uh, you don't draw like this. You know what I mean? We don't naturally draw like this. We can, but it, it feels awkward. So, how can we translate the pixels that are we can draw naturally in over to the vectors that we need for everything as far as offset printing, uh, screen printing, laser cutting, 3D modeling, because we can actually use vectors for that too. How do we can translate pixels over to this? And how do we translate our drawing from paper. Let's say we have something that we drew on paper with a pencil. How do we translate that over to vector? You know, there's a lot there's a lot we could do here. So I'm going to show you that in this this part of this unit and we'll begin in the next video. But that's the general idea of why this unit exists. So let's move on.